Hello everybody! Well, here we are again in Age of Wushu, and as you may know, in order to reach the last few levels of your school's internal, you need to defeat the remnants of the Blade Sharpening Hall. And this takes the form of a number of single boss fights, you against the boss, and today we're going to be talking about the fight between you and Dongfang Qianxian, if I'm saying that right. This takes place in Yanjing by the Dongfang family estates and specifically right next to the little gazebo that is on the Inshu Lake right next door. The, this one's easy to find, the gate is out in the open and when you go inside this one is a little bit unique because it has a cutscene. Not that the cutscene explains anything but it is there. So. Dong Fang Tianxian uses a combination of skills. It looks like he uses a few skills from Mantis Fists and a few skills from Dragon Slap. So when you're fighting him, you'll come across Mantis Flips the Cart, which is just like the regular skill. It has a lot of damage if you don't block it. It will knock you down, and when you are knocked down, it will leave you vulnerable. And this boss is a little bit unusual in that he often follows up skills like this with another skill right away. So if you are knocked down, expect to receive even more damage from another attack. One of the other attacks he'll use is Hiding a Dragon is Useless. This is from the Dragon Slap set. It does a lot of damage again, but it will also leave you with blurry vision or double vision, which isn't really that much of a problem, but can be a little bit annoying. He will also hit you with the Soaring Dragon in the Sky, that's how it appears on the screen, but this is also known as the Falling Dragon in the Sky from the Dragon Slap skill set. And this is notable because it has a considerable knockback whether you block or not, and it will do significant damage if you do not block it, so be careful of that. And there is also Mantis Stalks a Cicada. Now this does quite a bit of damage and is usually used as a follow-up skill whenever he knocks you down or you are vulnerable. Uh, he will use this as a rage as well. This is actually the rage from the Mantis Fist set, but it seems like he uses it as a regular skill at first and then eventually he may use it as a rage skill as well, so watch out for that. He also seems to use Pierce Throat with two fingers from the Mantis Fist set, but it doesn't announce it, so I'm not 100% sure if it is effective. That is the parry break from that set, and it did not seem to break my parry, and he only used it once, so I'm not 100% sure if he really is using it or if it's just the animation. So this fight is fairly straightforward, and this is one of the easier fights in the whole set of defeating the Blade Sharpening Hall Remnants. All you really have to do is just stay on him, you can goose away from most of the attacks, especially Mantis Flips the Cart is probably the best bet, but when you do goose away, you have to keep your block up because damage may still reach you, but hopefully you'll be outside of the range of the effect that causes you to become vulnerable. But other than that, there isn't any other tricks. You just really have to stand up to them and knock them down, keep blocking everything, goose when necessary, and you should be okay. One other thing to note though is while the fighting area in this arena is small like all of the other boss fights when it comes to defeating the remnants of the Blade Sharpening Hall, this one is particularly small. If you are knocked back all the way to the water or just before the water, that is far enough for him to reset. So be very careful about how far you start straying from his spawn point. So I hope you found that useful and enjoyable, and as always, I want to say thanks for watching, and thank you for subscribing. Bye-bye!